next slide, that that's uh, about 30 to 40 percent of the budget shortfalls that states face this year uh, is are being closed by uh, the, the uh, fiscal aid in the Recovery Act. I'm talking there about two provisions primarily. There was an increase in the extra support that the federal government the support that the federal government provides to states to help pay for Medicaid. And there was also a uh, fund that was primarily uh, for, for education uh, to help keep teachers and other education workers employed. Now, you know, we're still, unfortunately, as I said, you know, this is the Great Recession. And none of the policy tools that we could have possibly thrown at it could have kept it from being bad. And this is the case if we look at state budgets. Over the, despite this, the value of the aid uh, in this year and even into next year to some extent, the shortfalls that states are facing are going to be very significant, even still at record levels next year. And uh, the additional Medicaid support is running out at the end of this year, right in the middle of state's next fiscal year. And it's likely that most of the education fund uh, will be spent as well. So we're talking about shortfalls in the, in the 2011 fiscal year of about $140 billion nationally. Uh, and then even in 2012, we're looking at shortfalls that still are about, we estimate, $118 billion. So in order to close, that's after spent, states spend the Recovery Act money. So in order to close those huge shortfalls, states are going to be cutting services and raising some revenues. And those actions, particularly the cuts are going to push down the, the, national, uh, the national gross domestic product. We estimate by a full percentage point. And when that happens, you know, that's going to cost, that's going to cost jobs. It threatens to stall the recovery out. It's that big. You know, and it's not just us who are saying this. I mean, we're estimating that uh, that, there, that those cuts that states will make uh, in the absence of additional fiscal aid uh, would, will cost the country another 900,000 jobs. Also, you know, if you look at pro what private forecasters are saying about what they think is happening uh, in the economy, the state fiscal crisis looms large. So uh, Mark Zandi again has, has said that, quote, the state fiscal crisis will be a, 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 quote, a serious drag on the economy at just the wrong time. Uh, the Goldman Sachs has said that, uh, they, that the state fiscal crisis uh, is, is one of the main reasons why they think the economy is going to slow this year. So we're really at a crucial moment uh, for deciding whether or not uh, we provide additional fiscal aid, uh, and, and I, and I, I want to really emphasize this point in closing um, because uh, the, the Congress is making decisions right now about whether or not to extend fiscal aid. Uh, there's two tracks. The House Jobs Bill includes uh, both an extension of the Medicaid support and uh, the Education Fund, uh, and the health, House Health Care Bill includes an extension of the Medicaid support. The decisions about the health care bill are being made today and over the next couple of days. Um, the decisions about the jobs bill will be made very soon too. They'll be driven by the expiration of the UI and COBRA provisions at the end of February. So I really urge all of you to, uh, as you later today when you're talking about what to do going forward, um, uh, to focus on the importance uh, for Congress uh, to, to extend <laughs> state fiscal aid. There's a lot of important pieces, uh, and I don't mean to diminish those at all, but those, these decisions about state fiscal aid are being made right now, 
and it's crucially important uh, for, for jobs and for the success of the recovery. Thanks very much.